The Sega Saturn was Sega's answer to the next generation of consoles. When there's a new Sega console, Sonic is bound to be on it. But what we got was Clockwork Knight, Virtua Cop, and the topic of the video, Bug. If I were a Sonic fan growing up at that age, I'd be highly disappointed knowing my favorite hedgehog wasn't on the console. Sure, he made a cameo where you have to race him, but that's it. Not to mention Sonic only got a re-release of 3D Blast, a crappy racing game, and a collab of the original titles. To be fair, the likes of Clockwork Knight wasn't terrible. I play it before and it's okay. I never played Virtua Cop or Bug, but they were actually well received. Bug was a good game for its time, the 3D graphics looked stunning, the sound was pleasing to listen to, except for Bug's voice, which was met with criticism. That's why this little critter is hated, much like Gex, Bubsy, and Austin Possum. They won't shut up! Now I am a Gex fan and find his voice more pleasing to listen to, but when his lines repeat, it gets annoying. Bug is no exception, only he's worse. But I'm losing my focus. We're here to view and discuss the handful of merch this bug-sized franchise has. Do good things always come in small packages? We're gonna find out right now! Most games will have a demo for you to play before purchasing the full game. Bug got a playable preview for the Sega Saturn, which contains a small demo and trailer. There were either given away at E3, at stores that sell games, or purchased for a cheap price. The game also released on PC, but sadly no demo is available for PC gamers. Inside the Japanese version of the game, you'll find a spine card in case your old spine of the game gets ruined for some reason. A company by the name of VidPro had these display cards for Saturn games like Bug and even Gex. Sorry for not adding this in the Gex video. Anyway, these cards are kinda cheap, you can find them in bulk lots for $20 on eBay. To promote Bug, posters were a no-brainer to slap on game stores' windows and walls. Like this one, cheese! Yeah, pretty lame really, just Bug with a black background and text saying cheese. But the poster does its job by keeping you focused on the character rather than the background. Good stuff! Bug was also used to spread the word about a job opportunity at Sega. If I saw this and had said experience, I'd jump on board. Jack in the Box is a restaurant I heard is really good, but sadly my town doesn't have one. In 1996, they had a toy line featuring Sega characters like Sonic, Knuckles, Echo, and of course, Bug. For a little extra, you can get a PC game of your desired franchise, and they also had cards? Weird. And don't forget their little toys. Bug got a little wind-up figure, which is, uh, cool? I've seen these on eBay pop up every now and then for five bucks. They ain't worth much. You know Tiger Electronics? Well, they made a series of handhelds called Pocket Arcade. It's just as bad as the others. Don't buy these to play them. Buy them to collect and preserve. Just like the smart guy who kept his Bug Pocket Arcade sealed. Bug of all characters got on the Tiger Games bandwagon next to Sonic. I don't know what the game is like, my only guess is that it's a generic platformer like all platformers on the Tiger handheld games. <laughs> Through positive reviews on the first game, a sequel was sure to release any time. Bug 2 released and got mixed reception. Sure it had multiplayer, but the gameplay between the new characters didn't change and the camera didn't stay focused on Bug or any of the characters, making it frustrating to play. During its release, it got a press kit. At least, that's what I gathered. The Bug 2 kit has a fly spot, some plastic bugs, and slides. It's kinda odd. There are some letters included which give some background to the game, as well as some advertising brochures. Little is known about this. The collector ended up getting the kit from someone who used to work at Sega, and they don't even remember what it was. Now here's something ironic. This poster says, You can't keep a good bug down. Sad to say, we never heard from Bug or his pals again. Their stardom ended on the sequel that squashed the franchise for good. Cooler than a spit attack. Is that an insult to Gex?
that's all that Bug has to offer in regards to merchandise. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you wish to see more video game merchandise videos. But until next time, stay tuned for more necessary nonsense from yours truly, Gaming Chili Hedgehog. God bless, I'll see you in the next video. Out with the Yane!